Hello there, I'm Rylan, and I'm going to be sh basically showing you how to swap for, uh, to Mining Linux. So I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux, and then how to install drivers, NVIDIA drivers, for Linux. And then I'm going to show you how to install an overclocking software, and then the miner itself. Yeah, uh, hopefully you find this informative, and if you uh, are having issues with your Windows mining rig, that you can uh, uh, perhaps swap, swap to Linux, and this would help you. Uh, overcome those issues. Uh, enjoy and I hope you find this uh, informative. Alright, so the two things you're going to need at first are Balin Etcher, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but whatever, um, and Papa OS. Uh, I have them both already installed, but I'll leave links in the description for down for you. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Etcher, what you're going to want to do is open Etcher here and you're going to flash from file and find the Pop OS file that I was telling you about. Now, what I need, you can't, you don't, don't write over your system drive. Now, I have a flash drive right here that what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash on it this file. Right there. Select. And flash, and we'll be back. It'll ask you if, if if this device or this software can make changes. Click yes, and we'll be back once this is done flashing. All right, you can see here it's finished flashing. I can exit this out, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power this computer off, and I need I'm gonna swap the drive here. With this drive here that I definitely did not take from uh, another computer in this house, and don't worry, there's nothing on it. Um, and I'm going to be installing Linux on that drive, and uh, I'm not, I don't want to write over that drive, so that's why I'm swapping the drives. And yeah, alright, so I have the drive there hooked up. We're going to turn that, turn this computer on. Wait, I need to turn that on. And we're, I'm going to spam click F2. And uh, the key that you need to spam click may vary. You see right there it says please press Dell or F2. Uh, just check and see what that says whenever you boot up. And here you can see here are my boot drives I can boot from. But I'm, I'm not every BIOS will have this like quick start menu. So I'm going to do it the advanced mode through advanced mode. And gonna go to boot here um, it may it may not say boot exactly but it's gonna say something along the lines of boot and right there you see just make sure that's set to the USB which is the sand disk right here and that's it so I'm gonna click exit and click save changes and reset okay and we're gonna wait once you have it loaded up, you're going to see this. Just click enter. You're going to see all this gibberish. Just you can just just watch it run. It may take a second to load, but um, you can just ignore it. All right, now you got Pop OS up here, and this is running off the thumb drive. So don't unplug that. And if we wait a second, an uninstall window should come up, or we can just click this window right here. Oh wait, it came up before I before I clicked it. So click that. Click. Okay, select English US default um, clean install. Yeah, that your drive. Don't accidentally click the wrong drive. I'm gonna put in my name, username, Rylan, account password. I'll put that in. All right, so after the account password, it's going to ask you if you want to encrypt it. I personally won't encrypt it, but uh, you can do that if you'd like. And it's going to install. Now, this take, may take a minute. This may take a long minute. All right, so it finished installing, and we can click Restart Device here. and it will restart the device and you should boot 
you should boot into your Pop! OS flash uh, SSD there. Now, uh, you can unplug the thumb drive now. You don't need that anymore. And we log in. Alright, once you're logged in, it'll give you this welcome screen. You can just set it up a little bit more. So you click next and next. It really, there's none of this really matters. Um, EST is what I'm at. I don't want to link anything. That was a lot easier than Windows. What do you think? But anyway, now that we're done installing all of uh, all of uh, Linux, we are going to be installing all the softwares we need. First, we're going to need to get the drivers for our graphics card here. All right. So to install the NVIDIA drivers, you're going to need to open the terminal. Uh, you can just copy and paste what I do. You do not need to learn much about this. This is just, you can just copy and paste what I do. All right. You're going to type in apt spash, space, spash, space, um, search, S-E-A-R-C-H, space, NVIDIA, dash, drivers. No, just driver, not drivers. Click enter. Full screen that for you. And here, we're going to find NVIDIA driver, and here's the latest version, NVIDIA driver 470. So I'll copy that, and, and we're going to type in sudo apt install NVIDIA driver, I don't know, oh, don't want me paste it in, oh well, um, it's NVIDIA driver dash 470, okay, NVIDIA dash driver dash 470 and your password and it should install now this may take a few minutes as well all right so it's all set up here we can close the terminal and what we're going to need to do is restart the computer and then the drivers will take effect Okay, the overclocking software is the next thing we need to tackle. Um, I'm here at uh, GitLab with uh, a, re a repository of the um, of this overclocking software called GWE, and if this looks all complex to you, do not worry. I will have commands you can copy and paste in the description. I'll also leave a link for this if you want to find out more. So what you're going to do? I already installed this. Uh, but um, you're going to copy this command and paste it there, run it, copy this command, paste it there, and run it. And it will ask you, this one, for me, it asked me uh, to make sure, are you sure you want to install it? It did that twice. So uh, just click what yes for both of them. Just type in Y and enter for both of them. Uh, flat pack update. Just type that in, and it should it should uh, update everything. And then this command here is the command you're, you're going to want to copy and put it in a notepad somewhere, because this command sometimes when you copy and paste it, it does something weird, but um like that. But this command here, uh, you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to save, because every time you want to overclock something. You're going to type in that command in the, in the terminal. And it will lead you to this overclocking software. And this is where you can control everything for your GPU. As you can see all, right here. Alright, so it took me a little bit to figure out how the, to get the software working. Um, one thing I said earlier that was wrong was that uh, you needed the command to open the application. But no, it's just in your applications drawer. Uh, and... Um, when you opened it uh, initially, when you open it, this will be like grayed out. You won't be able to use it. So what you're going to do to fix that is you're going to run this command, which I'll have in the description, and it'll say it might say like, "Oh, it didn't work," uh, but it will create a new file, and then you can. Re it did actually work. Uh, it created a new file, and then you can um, restart the computer, and you can open this software, and you ha you're available to you're able to make a new overclockings uh, profile so I'll just say profile profile one 
and you can add the core and the memory clocks as you please uh, in order to do the fan what you need to do is uh, I've set this up a little on YouTube there are a ton of overclocking uh, guides which you can go into uh, you can just there may be different softwares but they're all generally this abide by the same rules um, here is uh, the fan curve and you can adjust this by by moving this around yeah so um, that's pretty much it oh also um, the power limit can be changed right here to what you want it to be uh, to how many watts it'll drain and all the specs of your GPU are right here and and that's pretty much it for um, for this software yeah uh, let's continue all right well, what we're gonna want to do is go to ethermine.org click start mining and go to under Linux and, and Nvidia and if you have an AMD card go under Linux and AMD uh, click go to LOL miner click download and configuration guide it'll take you to the github repository you're gonna go under releases here and click the latest release which for right now is 1.37 just scroll down find the find the file right here click that and just click OK and you click extract you extract again close this close that close that and this should show up and if a different file with like a lock on it shows up just click right click and just and do extract all I, I've had that issue sometimes it'll show up like this and sometimes it'll show up like that just right click it and click extract all now here are the files here and what you're gonna want to do is you are gonna open so this is the ethereum file open that and configure this to your configuration so let's go back to ethereum here and uh, click start mining and copy the US e or well, you're depending on where you're on the world I'm on the US East we're gonna copy that get that file or get yeah get the file and paste that right there and port is 4444 and that should be it for me at least you're going to want to put in your wallet address and then your the the dot the name of whatever you want to call your mining rig and that'll be it we click save and you can close this and you may won't be wondering now that it's saved you right click it it's just a text file so what do you do how do you open it what you're going to do is you're going to right click this and click open in terminal now what you're going to do from here is, is do period slash mine underscore eth so the name of the file dot sh and then that should run the miner now this now you'll he probably hear the fan increasing uh, as, as soon as this uh, ramps up here because the temperatures now it says no user account or wallet to mine to unconfigured uh, let's fix that open with text editor I just put in I just didn't even put in anything because oh, that's that's the problem right there save um, and then we'll try that again open in terminal period slash uh, mine eth mine underscore eth dot bat no not dot bat dot sh again getting them mixed up between windows and linux enter and there we go now we're, i'm not mining to my own address this is the lol miners pre default address so um you just put your own address in there and yeah that's pretty much it you have basically everything set up and yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it uh thank you bye